Hey, hi, hello, it's me, Jack or Jacko. You can call me either, whichever you prefer. Um, today, I am drawing Koichi Hirose from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, specifically part four. Technically, I drew this a couple days ago, but I've been procrastinating and editing the video, so... Yeah. Um, if you have seen my deviant art, whether you follow or not, um, you might have noticed that, yes, it was posted a while ago. I decided one day, I was like, hey, I want to draw some JoJo's Bizarre Adventure characters. So I was like, yeah. I'm gonna put their na the main characters' names into a spinning wheel and then let the wheel decide. First character I got was Koichi, so I was like, okay, that's easy. Someone that I can draw. I messed up on his pose at first, so if you notice sometime in the video that if it randomly cuts and his pose looks different, that's because I went off video slash cam I went off camera and fixed it. Uh, because it looked very weird with the way he was supposed to be positioned as opposed to how his clothes looked So I had to change it because I was going to Beat myself up about it if I didn't do anything Um, Yeah, that's Yeah I'm still terrible at giving commentary as you might notice but I Yeah, I am getting better with drawing faces um, now here you, it, they, it, this, okay, I'm st my faces still kind of look similar. I consider myself to have same face syndrome, though it's not super terrible, and I'm getting better. I just need to remember to take a certain eye shape that I like, or like, just randomly draw a shape and draw the eye around it so it looks different than the last one. And I'm getting slightly better with drawing noses, too, but still not great. Also, I won't be posting as much. I mean, I still don't post a lot, and I want to get better at that. However, I won't be posting much stuff here soon, because I actually start school in, like, three days. Which is gonna be fun. It's also gonna be weird. Uh... Just going in, back into everything. I have been told, though, to prepare myself for a teacher I'm getting. I won't say anything more about them, because I don't want to sound rude. So I'll shut up. I really need to get better at this. Oh my god. Anyways. I, if you notice, this is probably, the music in the background is probably the music I used in my last video. And it's because I was too lazy to try and create another mix of songs that I could use, so that's why. Also, how, how do you draw loafers? Because I noticed while I was drawing his shoes, which are loafers, I can't draw them. I mean, I'm not saying I'm amazing at drawing shoes. I'm not in any way. I can literally only draw tennis shoes, like Converse type shoes. And even then it's kind of iffy. Uh, I'm getting a lot better with like anatomy though. Uh, one day I hope to be able to just kind of sketch up a pose from scratch without having to look at a pose reference I found online. Which with that, I would also need, like, an, one of those little animation dolls that people get. The little wooden ones. Uh, I've been told that it helps. However, I don't have one yet. So I can't exactly use it. I will also say that I tried a little diff- I tried a different type of shading technique in this. I mean, it's still my normal kind of, like, cell shading. Just- there's more dimension to it, I guess, and I used a different color besides just black on a 30% opacity layer. I used, like, purples and blues and I think, like, a brown for this. I think. 
And originally it was on an overlay layer, but then I found one that fit his hair without it being on overlay. So then I had to just go in and get the colors from what it looks like in the overlay and then just put those over the original ones and change the layer to a non-overlay layer. Uh, I, but this was the first drawing where I did try that just because I wanted to see if it looked a little better. And I had gotten an art tip from a friend of mine of like shading with say purple or blue and I've seen a lot of people shade with blue so I was like hey I'll try that out maybe it'll look better and it did so I stuck with it I will be linking my deviant art and my toy house account down below in case you want to check that stuff out and see some of the stuff I mm, I haven't posted on my YouTube channel just because I don't always feel like doing a speed paint of my art necessarily and one of my recent pieces uh, I had my so Windows has this thing where like you can apply a grayscale color filter so I did that I was like oh I'll make a character in full grayscale and I'll draw him in grayscale and color and everything uh, so I was gonna record that however OBS did not pick up the filter I had on my screen and I didn't feel like and I didn't understand how to add another like filter thing to OBS so I just decided hey I won't record drawing this one uh, but he is he's the new character has been posted on both my deviant art and my toy house so if you want to check out what he looks like feel free to do so uh, I have two more characters that I'm doing a grayscale thing with and I'm hoping they don't look insane and they actually look good like the one character I drew because his color scheme actually kind of matched a little bit. Though I will say a lot of the green that's on him in the character I drew, a lot of the green I thought was going to be a yellow. Anyways, back to the commentary on Koichi. Uh, as you can see here, I'm coloring in the skin. and. Like, at this point, I was just kind of looking at it, and I'm like, ooh, I really like how this is turning out. And it's, it's weird to me, because it feels like when I draw my normal characters, like my original characters and stuff, nobody ever sees them. Or if they do, they don't do it, they don't mention it or anything. However, as soon as I draw and post an existing character that I drew, that is not my own, suddenly everybody is like, ooh, that's so cool! So that's something weird I noticed the other day. Um, which is... I mean, it's to be expected, because a lot of times people... If the, the, they favor certain art styles, like everybody has a different favorite art style. And mine is definitely not my own. Uh, but it feels like if you don't have a really cool anime-esque style that is super soft with the lines and everything, then nobody really sees it unless it's an existing character. And I don't, I don't know how to feel about that exactly, because it. It's kind of sad for people who want to share their characters, but don't get the chance to because no one sees it. It's also uh, a, due to preference of other people, obviously, because everyone has their own preferences. So I'm not saying, oh, look at every single art, I, art piece I post. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it'd be nice if some of my art got more recognized. It wasn't just by close friends or people that I know in real life. But that's how the internet works, so I gotta get used to it. Anyways, this... We got a couple more minutes. This video is around 12, 13 minutes long, I think. And we're nearing the 10 minute mark now. 
really the rest of this is just me shading and blending everything and then going in and coloring the lines. Uh, but yeah, that's that. Again, I'm terrible at giving commentary. I know I repeat myself quite a bit, and it's honestly just a habit of mine. Also, I added freckles because it fit Koichi, and I was like, mm, why not? I know in the show, he doesn't have freckles, I don't think, but he just looks- he- they fit! They fit, okay? Fight me. Don't actually, please. But, yeah. That's really it, honestly. I know I'm terrible at giving commentary, and I sincerely thank you if you are still here and watching, even if you're not necessarily listening to what I say, and you're more so trying to focus on the art, because that's what I'm doing. Um, I appreciate it, though, and hey, if you like this, why not give it a like, you know? Maybe even subscribe and see some of my other content, check out my socials. Which all of them will be linked to them. Anyways, if you think that I'm cool, tell me in the comments. And don't actually. If you have any critique you want to give, please tell me in the comments. And I will see you in the next one, I guess. I know we're not exactly at the end, but I'm just saying this now so I don't know. I'm very awkward. I know. I, th I'm like this in real life as well. So, don't expect much. Anyways, this is near the end of the video. And so, I will see you in the next one. Probably. So, bye!